Elio opened his discourse and said, Master of the worlds, you are one, but not in numerical sense. You are exalted among exalted ones, hidden from all hidden ones. No thought can grasp you at all. You are he who has brought forth ten garments, and we call them transfers. Discourse. <sighs> Study. I want this course as a course, you know, something in the conversation. How to come the idea. So you're making a course of conversation. It's been, this is the truth of what's going on in the environment of this, of this moment. It means you are making how you discuss things. You are making the ground of what, what, what is valid, what is not valid. It's, it's, a, it's, so, it's so brilliant to say it. This means basically nothing is valid till you make it valid. Let's go in this direction. Otherwise, it's evolution. It doesn't have anything to do with what you do. If you don't put the effort that you decide what to do, you can be, evolution means I'm an animal. I'm an outcome of situation. When I, dis uh, the, okay. I forgot it. thank you. Uh, Leo opened his discourse and said, master of the worlds. You are one, but not in American sense. You are exalted above all exalted ones, hidden from all hidden ones. No fucking grasp at all. You are he who has brought forth ten garments, and we call them ten spheres. And. And. The ends of the chalav. So, if you have round chalas, so then there's no end. So then, I assume that um, you know you can eat any part of the challah that you want. But if you have a challah that's made into like a, a braid, so you have two ends. So officially, those two ends, if a man were to eat them, they would make him forget Torah. Very interesting that today's A.M. Yehim also speaks about forgetting Torah. That the Greeks wanted to make the Jewish people forget Torah. I don't think it's working. So <laughs> let's drink, let's drink. Let's drink very slowly. Let's drink. 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 That when the Rebbe spoke to children at rallies, and the Rebbe would uh, in Hanukkah, and the Rebbe would speak about Lashkicham Teresacha, the Rebbe would translate it literally, not the Chassidish Shabbat that the Greeks wanted to make the Jewish people forget the Elikus, the Eivishter, the Neisana Teira, but literally that the the Greeks wanted the Jewish people to forget Teira. Um, so that's interesting about the word and and end. So and and end are, relate actually to the two types of chala that I spoke about. Because and goes on forever. And, 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 never ends. And yo, opened this discourse and said, master of the world, you are one but not in a miracle sense. You are exalted above all exalted ones hidden from all hidden ones, no thought can grasp you at all. You are he who has brought for ten grammars, and we will call them ten spheres. And adding. So adding or editing? So I will go, usually I like to look inside and uh, to understand what, when you say Leo or something, when you look at something, you look at it, from many perspectives. You just look at it, how, how it came about, and what you do with it, or what the outcome, without even realizing you see the outcome, and what it brought you this. And this is, a, this is very important to know. So, in, in what is then? That means, it relates to what? And this is became natural, this is the nature of you. Basically, <laughs> the year opened this discourse and said, Master of the Worlds, you are one, but not in a miracle sense. You are exalted above all exalted ones, hidden from all hidden ones. No thought can grasp you at all. You are he 
who has brought forth ten spheres, and we call them ten garments. And reputation. So I really didn't hear anything that you said, Jessica. Um, <laughs> it's so funny, right? You could be listening, but you could be hearing, but not listening. So, and, um, right, but and obviously means ends, two ends. Um, right. So, and in Hebrew, in the sign language, like Rivesca calls it, is one letter. But, okay. Uh, Elia opened this discord and said, Master of the worlds, you are one, but not in a miracle sense. You are exalted above exalted ones, hidden from all hidden ones. No, but, uh, no thought can help you at all. You are who he has bought for the Ten Garments, and we call them Ten Spheres. Um, and recognition. So what's happened now, because you said you didn't, I, when I read it, I said, because I don't know to read good English, so I'm reading it so quick, and it's not, that's why it's, you don't hear it even, what I say. So I was thinking, if I speak in Hebrew, that everything is clear. If I speak in one language, and I speak the language fluently, that you're going to hear me. So I think because I'm in Hebrew, because I speak in Russian Gaelic, I think we should add a, uh, another 15, uh, 30 seconds of something, 15 seconds, something, even 15 seconds, and not regular, because someone speaks the language you doesn't speak, you add another no, even 30 seconds because digesting the idea. That's what I thought. Leo opened this discourse and said, Master of the world, you are exalted above all exalted ones. You are one, but not in a miracle sense. You are exalted above all exalted ones, hidden from all hidden ones, no thought can grasp you at all. You are he. There's about four ten spheres and I call them ten garments. Wow, the whole time I was saying it, it's actually the other way around. And the whole time I was confused. It says, you are he who has brought forth ten garments, and we call them ten spheres. Wow. So even though the word officially is end, I want to speak about that, which is very interesting, because a garment is obviously something that God doesn't have. In our sense of the word of what a garment is as a physical piece of cloth, God doesn't use that, because God doesn't have a physical body. So it's very interesting that Really, seemingly, Elio and Avi should have said, you are here has brought forth ten spheres, and we call them ten garments, because garments is something that we understand. Okay. Elio opened this discourse and said, Master of the worlds, you are one, but not in the miracle sense. You are exalted above all exalted ones, hidden from all hidden ones. No thought can grasp you at all. You are he who has brought forth ten garments. And we call them ten spheres and recognition. So, in reality, by saying there's garments, I respond to you, and I realize why you hear me because I respond to you. It's very, very interesting. It makes another understanding. So, garment basically is a fascinating idea because those make sense. Garment, you see something and you think this is it. Real, but this you think this is it. And this is a, this is the part, that's why we call it garments. Because fear is basically another perspective that shines. But no, there's an aspect of the garment, you relate to it. It's like, it's real. They opened the discourse and said, Master of the worlds, you are one but not in a numerical sense. You are exalted above all exalted ones, hidden from all hidden ones. No talking grass you at all. You are he who has brought forth ten garments, and we call them ten spheres. Said, Said Sith. Um, so if I would have done what I was supposed to, quote unquote, and read it from inside, perhaps I never would have realized that my question, I never would have had that question. Because I just would have accepted um, what it said. But because I made a quote unquote mistake, I was able to do chuva and uh, reach a higher level do that <laughs> um, said there was said on your to make 
a statement.